Hello, my Sagittarians. Hello, 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 fire signs. I know we're doing a little different today. I'm doing it in the evening, but guess what, Saggies? It might be tarot after dark for you guys. Alrighty, I have Wheel of Fortune tarot for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Chariot, Cancer energy. I get love. I get love, Sag. Knight of Swords is also the lovers. And the Chariot is also the Queen of Cups, Cancer. It just feels fulfilling. It does. It feels happy. It feels exciting. Um, the Chariot. Ooh, Knight of Cups, Sagittarius. And look at that. Below that, Eight of Wands reverse and a Queen of Cups reverse. Some of you are like, Tara Lady, listen, I like you sometimes. But I haven't had new love in 75 years. Well, guess what? This is your year, Sag. This is your year. Because, ooh, that scared me. This feels good. What's this? Knight of Swords. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Yes, it is. Three of Pentacles reverse, Page of Cups reverse. It just feels like you've been kind of single for some time here, Sag. Let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. Feel like being a Sag. Saggies, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sagittarius and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for the Sagittarians. What do we have? What's the story tonight? What is the story? You know, a song just came in. I want to sex you up. Who sings that? Color me bad? Jeez, where did that come from? All right. Sagittarius, <laughs> what are you doing to me? Okay. King of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, Sag, hold on. What is the story? Sorry, that's George the Virgo. Harry's down here and he's not liking it. He's micromanager. He's 12 pounds and he likes to be the boss. All right. General energy for the Sagittarians. General energy for the Sagittarians. Page of Cups reverse. That's kind of what I keep seeing here. Page of Cups is like not really stuff going on in the bedroom, you know. Page of Cups reverse. What's influencing the Page of Cups reverse? The Eight of Wands. Look at you traveling, getting away from it all, putting, look, actually, I feel like you're putting that ship into the water. All right. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for the Sagittarians? Yeah, it just feels like trying to change it up. Some of you, Page of Cups Reverse can be flat out boredom. You know what's so funny, Sagittarius, because I was thinking of this card when I saw this card, your card, Eight of Wands, see the ships in the water, and I thought, well, who's waiting for Sagittarius to ship? Well, lo and behold, this Emperor, both Aries, by the way, Three of Wands, somebody's going to see your ship come in, so I feel like you're going, you're the one running into new love here. And the moon, reason for the reading, that was the card that actually fell out. But all the cards around that was all Aries. I saw the two of ones, the three of ones, the emperor. What's in the past? What's in the past for the Sagittarius? The sun reverse and the eight of cups. It just feels like trying to change up your surroundings. It's like page of cups reverse honestly could just feel like you've hit a dry spell in your life, you know? Um, it just, or it's also just needing fun excitement um to laugh again to be loved and love again it's 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 a lot of things honestly but it just feels like you're isolating an issue within yourself saying i need to have fun i need to get away what's on sagittarian's mind death card which this is scorpio's king of cups the real love here i feel like honestly if you are in a relationship watching this some of you want it's kind of like for me to stay in this relationship, something's got to change. You want a transformation happening because it's kind of like it got so monotonous. That's what it feels on your mind though. Death card is an ending. So you can have that beginning here. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for us? Okay. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles reverse focusing on yourself. What's in the near future? Ace of Cups reverse and the Ten of Swords reverse. Anything else want to just fall out on its own? What's in the near future? 
What's in the near future? Queen of Wands reverse. Sagittarius. Six of Pentacles, and there it is, the world. I knew if I kept going. Two of Pentacles, Judgment Reverse. Six of Pentacles in the world. I think you guys are going to have a big decision. Near future is a lot of stuff you've been carrying around. Ten of Swords Reverse feels like something. Let's just say you're going away here. Let's say you're going on vacation. Let's just say you go away for a weekend. Whatever this is, you have to come back to it, okay? Here... Eight of Cups in the Sun feels like, emotionally, feels like somebody's ready to walk away from something that's not very happy or fulfilling. And then where you are now, it just feels kind of just bored. I mean, Page of Cups reverse literally is bored, unhappy, unfulfilled. Reason for the reading is now, what am I supposed to do with this? I now know what I want because on your mind is the death card. You, 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 something's got to change here or you're just ready to keep going. I feel like you had your mind made up back here and something kind of pulled you back. And now you have this chance to see what else is out there. And once you see what's out there, and because I literally feel you have a new energy here, it's you have to actually go back to this. You know how hard that is? Think of somebody who's probably been in like prison 30 years. They wouldn't even want to go back to prison to visit. You know what I mean? And, and somebody would be like, oh, we made a mistake. You, We let you go, but now you got to go back. It, it's good luck finding that person. That's what this feels like. It feels like you get a break from your life. And now that you see what else is out there, you're just like, mm -mm, I'm not going back. This could be honestly even a job. It's like... You know, you've just been doing the same thing for a long time. And now that you, something's piqued your interest, you see this differently. You see, you, you just can't, it's, where's that judgment card? Cause I know I saw it. I know I saw it. Yeah. Judgment reverses even here. You see it differently that you can't pretend not to. All right. Let's see what's going on here, Sag. This Page of Cups Reverse, center of the reading. Page of Cups Reverse, center of the reading. Page of Cups Reverse, center of the reading. Page of Cups Reverse. Two cards came out. Yeah, Four of Pentacles Reverse and the King of Swords. If It just feels like your mind is made up that you are letting a long-term situation go. You have to. Next to it is a Queen of Pentacles reverse. And when it's like that, she's stressed. She has anxiety. She's stressed about money. She's stressed about what she's going to do about it. She's stressed about her living conditions. She's not in a place to take care of anybody because she needs to start taking care of herself. And then the first step in taking care of yourself is to release the things that are not working for you anymore. And that's where I feel Knight of Pentacles. I actually feel with this Three of Swords, I feel like you're going to give some tough news to somebody. And it could be an employer. It could be somebody you've been living with. What is this moon reason for the reading? What is the moon reason for the reading? Yeah, lovers reverse. And what did we see? Knight of Swords. And that was would be the lovers upright. I feel, you know what I feel like, Sag? I feel like you guys know exactly what you want. You're just still trying to get that out of the situation you're in, you know, and you're realizing that it's never going to be that type of love or that type of fulfillment, um, that type of happiness. And so I just feel like you're making a tough decision to put yourself first, to reach for something more here. Why the lovers reverse and the moon here, two majors reason for the reading. And the temperance reverse, because at the end of the day, are you happy? You know, are you happy? Temperance reverse. Two of Pentacles is time to get you back. And the first order of business is why is your cup empty? Because I have a feeling I would bet my neighbor's house, Sagittarius, that the people around you's cups runneth over at the expense of yours being empty. And so this is where I feel three of Pentacles reverse is taking a break four swords getting you back and i feel like when you come back from that break gosh harry is so disruptive i saw i'm sorry when you come back from that break i have a feeling 
you're you're just not going to be able to pretend this makes you happy anymore eight of cups sun reverse in the past eight of cups sun reverse in the past yep and the fool i really feel like who i'm reading for your mind was made up even here but something pulled you back in all right and it could even be another different energy some of you this could have been years ago I, you know, when I do these readings, usually this is like near past, near future. This could all be in the span of a week. But in this reading, I feel like this was a long time ago. And I feel like th you made a journey, like you made a destination out of a rest stop. And back here, you even understood it and you were ready to go. And maybe you met somebody, maybe somebody built, you know, really made you happy or the hope of being happy and that fell apart then you go back to this and try to make the best of it that's what it feels like but now you're ready to get going again tell me the death card on your mind scorpio the death card on sag's mind ace of swords reverse that's a no card that's also cutting yourself free so you can be happy card on your mind ace of swords reverse is saying i need I need something else in my life. And you shall have it. Eight of Wands. Once again, I love that. What is this? So we have a lot of Capricorn. So, you know, it could be happening Capricorn season going on. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. This queen is saying, you know what? I know it's been good for you, but have you been worried that my cup is empty at the expense of yours being full? This queen is stressed because... I feel all that's on her mind is she just wants somebody to really know her and to be connected. I say her, it could be a man too. It's just on the card. Um, you just want somebody to truly see your soul and accept you as is. Not that you have to change for somebody else. You just want that real type of connection in friendships and lovers and family members. And it's just... It's like, is that too much to ask? That's what it feel, I wanted to say. Is it too much to ask to have something that could just be for me? All right, what is this? Ace of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse in the near future. So when the Queen of Pentacles is reverse, ooh, Emperor. When the Queen of Pentacles is reverse, it's time to focus on you. So the Empress, which is so intriguing because we have the Emperor here. Oh, there's our Queen upright. Um... The Empress is all four queens. And whenever I see a queen in reverse, I think of the Empress. Um, because when the Empress is reverse, the, the main definition is it's time to focus on yourself, right? So which queen is making it? Which queen? Is it all the queens? Is it the Queen of Pentacles? Is it the Queen of Cups? I have a feeling it might be all the queens. And the, we need to start with our Queen of Swords, King of Swords, whoever you want uh, here is saying... I have to now do what's right for me. You have to, somebody's got to make a tough call and has to be a grown up and, and stand up for yourself in a situation where people run over you. So the emperor's coming out, which I feel it's your masculine energy, really going to stand up for your feminine energy for a change. Because I have a feeling in your life, not many people stand up for you at all. So your, your masculine energy is coming out and saying, you know what? I have, I deserve to be happy too. And that is why it's coming in, our queen is now upright. And this could definitely be a job reading. And if it's a job reading, I feel like you're going to have a tough talk, talk with your boss and saying, I need to have this in my life or I need to go elsewhere. I mean, it's just kind of, it's, it's, it's this or that. Because Sag living in a 10 of cups reverse isn't happening anymore. You just can't live like that anymore, which is why we now have a six of swords upright, moving on, nine of wands reverse, letting it go. And then we're eight of cups upright, eight of pentacles. Ooh, eights, eights are lucky. Yeah, it's just, it, that's what it feels like. So what is triggering this? There is another energy here triggering this. And you know what's funny? It's under the radar. So is this somebody you're going to meet? and maybe keep it to yourself because I'm staring down a six of pentacles here and this six of pentacles is going to have you breaking free of a four of pentacles reverse which leaves us to a two of pentacles upright 
I know that I, I, I'm sorry if I confused you there, but the bottom of the decks are very important because it's energy coming in. And I feel so strongly there is somebody here that you are meeting that is going to open your eyes for good on what needs to change and what you can have. And then you're going to realize, man, you've been screwing yourself, settling for what you've had when it's time to, to have the life you really deserve. So I feel like Sagittarius is focusing. This is the most important with this Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like that's the queen right here. The queen of cups reverse and the queen of pentacles reverse first order of business is getting your cup full. It's getting happiness back, getting that balance going on in that. And yeah, I just, that's what I feel like. It's like, you have to do you for a change. And you know what? Other people, if they're meant to be in your life, will understand. In fact, they'll say, man, Sag, I'm surprised you've been going this long on running on empty. I, I wondered how you did it. Or are you going to have the people in your life say, man, you're so selfish. You will know real quick what kind of people you need to have around you and who you do not need to have around you and where the boundaries need to be. So yeah, even this Queen of Wands is reverse here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. You know why? Because there's no Queen of Swords on this reading. Queen of Swords is the pinnacle of happiness. If everybody had their queen upright, even me included, you know, it's standing up and saying what you need to say in the moment when you need to say it, not like three days later, um, not to everybody else, but to that person or to that situation, all the queens would be upright. But it's usually we sacrifice our queen of swords thinking we could still get by. And what you're going to find is all the other queens fall. And then you got the empress reverse. And you wonder, how did I get here? How did I get here into this place in life? And it's because our queen of swords needs to be up. And that's your feminine energy. So, Pete, you know, you don't have to always drive out of your masculine energy. And when I feel this energy, it's usually when your back's against the wall and you lose it and you might just go off on people. It's because your feminine energy has just been taken advantage of for so long. And what I feel like is with this emperor being out, he's your masculine energy is coming out. So your feminine energy can be upright because I feel honestly for a lot of you, these queens have been reversed for a very long time. And you're running on empty, you're running on fumes these days, you know? So I really feel with the four swords and the hangman and a knight of swords reverse, and you need to get away. You need to, to, you need to get away from people. You need a, a weekend in a week away, whatever it is to figure out who you are, or what you want. And some, at least some of those questions, you know, or just to sit in silence, sit on a porch, look out in, into nothing and just let yourself dream again, you know? So I do feel you have new love, but I do feel like it's like somehow if it's not love yet, it's some connection you're going to meet that where you're going to have a new quote friendship, which I don't know why I'm quoting. Cause I, I mean, I feel like it's probably going to be a friendship that's really going to grow into a strong relationship, but this person's going to have your interest saying, you know what, where's the Sagittarius I know is in there, you know? So yeah, this, this is a really big reading. I feel like this is going to be a big change for somebody, but it's the change that's really needed in here. So that's what I have for you, beautiful soul Sagittarians. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you kids later. Take care.